Hey, welcome back. I, on this video, we're talking about your stand store and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you create a landing page in your stand store? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to create a landing page in your stand store anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know, it's important to gather emails for your email list. And by creating a landing page with your stand store, you can create a landing page specific to certain parts of groups or certain audiences that you might be collecting. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your stand store. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I've already logged into my stand store and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to create a landing page, that's going to be handled here in your store. So here on the left menu, go ahead and click on store. Okay. So once you click there, this is going to show your store on stand store. So that's going to be this link up here. So this would be something that you would normally place in your social media profiles, like your Instagram or anywhere you're going to put a link in bio. However, if you want a separate landing page for a separate audience, or maybe for a specific offer, you can go ahead and click right here on landing pages It's up here on the top center. Okay guys. So here is where you can go ahead and create a landing page. Now stand store does let you know, this is going to be separate than your store or your link in bio. So anybody who's in your stand store will not be able to see this landing page unless you have given them the link. So this could be for a special offer or a discounted offer or a different type of audience. So in order to create a landing page on stand store, you're going to click on create. Okay guys, before we go any further, I want to let you know if you're setting up a landing page to go to your stand store, you can simply just use this right here on the top, right? However, if you want to go ahead and create a separate landing page, like what we're going to do right here, you can choose from one of these templates. So first you want to choose what's the goal of your landing page. Are you going to be selling a digital product? some sort of a custom product? Are you offering a membership to a certain group? Are you offering coaching calls? Are you selling a course? Are you going to have some sort of a webinar? So for me, generally, if I'm setting up a landing page, I'm going to set up a lead magnet. So I'll be giving away some sort of a PDF. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one, but you use whichever one applies to you. Okay. So the cool thing about stand store is when you're setting up a landing page and you use their template, it's basically already set up. So here's what my landing page looks like right now. So we're just going to need to edit this and make it apply to our offer. Okay. So by default, it's going to choose the options right here. So you can go ahead and start dragging in option. So if you want to add reviews, open this up and then add a customer review and then name the name of the customer. So we'll do Raphael. This PDF was exactly how I make tacos. Okay. So now we added in reviews and here on the right, you can see what it looks like. So we scroll down and we can see Raphael. And then if you want to add another review, you just click there and we'll put Michelangelo and we'll put his review spiciest tacos. Okay. Now we're done with reviews and you can, as you can see, you can kind of scroll through those on this landing page and we'll close that down next. We can choose the email flows. So we can go ahead and add a flow, create email flow. Okay. So as you can see on this landing page, if somebody makes a purchase for my PDF, if you have the pro, you can go ahead and email out automatically an email funnel. So let me go back. Okay. So here you can go ahead and add a video. So we're going to upload a video right here. Okay. It's uploading right now. Okay. So I added a video. If you look right here in our landing page, it's building out really quite well. Okay. So here we are on my landing page. So we have a video. So this could be a testimonial or a review. Here we have the reviews. Okay. So on this landing page, which a purchase has been made, you can go ahead and set up the confirmation email right here. So here is your PDF ebook on making tacos. So that's the subject. And then down here, you can go ahead and add more into the body. If you need to add some links, you can do that. Check out my YouTube channel and then I'll put my link here. Okay. I'm going to paste it in and save. Okay. So once they make a purchase or they've ordered my Evo, this is the email confirmation they're going to receive. Okay. Now, if you have MailChimp, you can go ahead and open this up. And that way, so when someone signs up for your lead magnet through this landing page, their contact information will be added into your MailChimp if you want to do that. Okay. So this looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and edit the words in here. And what you're going to do is click here on checkout page. Okay. So here you can go ahead and add an image of what you want your landing page to look like. So right here, it's a computer. Let me go ahead and change that. Okay. You can use these stock images if you want. Let me see if they have anything for tacos. Yeah, they do. Okay. So this looks pretty cool. Let me go ahead and use this one right here and then you can go ahead and crop it as you wish. So that looks pretty good. Let me crop it. Okay. You can see the image updates right here. And then here we can go ahead and say, let's delete this, get the PDF taco recipe. Okay. Get the PDF taco recipe now. And then here we can go ahead and edit this part here. This is going to be the description of what your landing page is trying to get them to do. So best ingredient. Okay. So let me scroll down a little bit more. So it's coming together. So bottom title. So this is the 
call to action right here. So let me go ahead and change this. Okay, so eat spicy tacos today. And then the call to action is, I'll change it to send my PDF now. Okay, now we can go ahead and set up a price. So by default, it's $9.99, but maybe I want my landing page for this taco PDF to be $50. And then if you have the upgraded account, you can go ahead and add discounts in if you wish to do so. And then here on the landing page, you can add fields in. So you can see that we're only asking for their name and their email, but if you wanna go ahead and add their phone number or anything else, you can go ahead and open this up. So we can do text. For me personally, I usually only do email and phone number because I don't want it to cause too much friction to change my conversion. And then here is where you can go ahead and upload your product. So let me go ahead and upload my PDF. Okay, so as you can see, as soon as somebody pays $50 for my taco PDF, they will receive the confirmation email that we sent up earlier. And also in the email, they're gonna be delivered this PDF. So let's go ahead and take a look right here. So this is what the landing page from Stan Store looks like now. It looks pretty good. Also, we uploaded a PDF. However, if you have that lead magnet hosted somewhere else, you can go ahead and click right here. And then you can go ahead and redirect. As soon as the payment is made, it'll go to this URL, whatever that might be. So maybe it's gonna be access to a private video in Vimeo, or maybe it's going to be some sort of a web page or a blog post. You can do that if you wish to do so. For today, we already uploaded the file, so we'll use that. And once you are ready to publish your stand store landing page, go ahead and click on publish. Okay, now it brings me here to my landing pages. And now you can see my get the PDF taco recipe now is right here. Now, in order to share this landing page, what you're gonna do is over here to the right, you're gonna click on these three dots and you can go ahead and copy the URL. And now you can go ahead and paste this URL into your YouTube channel, into a Facebook post or wherever you normally share your landing pages. Now, one thing I wanna let you know also is this landing page, if somebody goes onto it, they're not going to be able to connect my store on Stan Store because those are two separate links, completely separate. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to make a landing page in your Stan Store, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.